As an artist, we're always striving to create something that we love, that energy, that passion, that real feeling behind something we create is always apparent in our art. And it shows when we're into something and it shows when we're not into something. And I've always loved fashion. stemmed out of one idea and it was just create a fashion shoot something you're really excited about and create some great images so it opened up a book of possibilities we decided we were going to shoot on location so that means we had to get a great location we shot at the bedford here in chicago which is a killer restaurant it used to be an old bank and there's all kinds of great details like safety deposit boxes there's a giant vault fireplaces a big bar so many cool locations we knew we had a gem when we decided to pick it before the shoot ever happened we went to the location kind of scouted out what was actually going to be going on during the shoot so we went without any pressure and kind of looked around and said oh this might be cool what about there's a giant vault here what about if we put our model on top of this vault and you know what if, there's a really interesting bench area here with an under light like a, a, a light coming from the bottom what about if we put the model here and had it like kind of light from the bottom and create this cool shadow and all this stuff so it was it was really fun to just like go to the location and kind of pick out all the shots before the day of the shoot and i think that was a huge huge help because if we just showed up you know on the shoot and we only had a few hours and we had kind of had to scramble i really don't feel like the shots would have come out we wouldn't have allowed that like creative process to happen during the actual shoot so um, huge huge recommendation try to get to your locations beforehand so you can figure out exactly what you want to do so the day of the shoot you can just focus on making those shots happen yeah come on out the cage girl <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> come on out the cage yeah sometimes i just do whatever i want it's nice so the biggest feature inside of the Bedford is this giant vault with a giant vault door and just all these really cool details of this metal work that's going to be super reflective. So we knew we wanted to shoot there. Um, we've also known that other people have already photographed models in this same location. We wanted to do something that had never been done before. So we were like, why don't we just put a model on top of the vault door, which um, if you've been following Flurn for a while, you know anything dangerous and semi weird, we're totally uh, it excites us. So <laughs> that was definitely something we wanted to do. So we went ahead and as soon as we got into the location, we started setting up our lighting for this shot. What do you think? Do I look like a model? Yeah. Let's have you doing something like this and you can kind of like grab this and play around up here. Stuff like that, is that okay? All right guys, I'm gonna turn this on and I know that it's gonna smoke a little bit. That's totally okay. Yeah, it, I want this to like scrape her whole body. So it's gonna, it's gonna have to hit her face and her legs and everything like that, okay? Because we're shooting fashion, this totally opens the door to just do whatever you want with lighting. <laughs> if you look in Vogue, you'll find like crazy images with, you know, like different colors and, you know, highlights and shadows and, you know, like a strip of light across a person's face. So lighting is such a fun part of photography for me. I knew I wanted to go crazy with it. And uh, we decided to do so with gels in this case. So we lit our lights and uh, we've got a red light in the background. We've got a turquoise light in the foreground and then we've got an orange light on our subject. All of them come together to create this like kind of like trippy little bit of uh, fashion type image, but I think in the end it totally wound up working.
One of the big things we wanted to keep in mind is we were going for fashion here. And when shooting fashion, a lot of things come to mind. Uh, lighting, you know, models, wardrobe, things like that. But there's a lot to do with the camera itself. Uh, oftentimes in fashion, you see different camera angles than you would normally see. They're usually not straight on headshots. You're usually shooting from down low to make someone look super tall, long legs, or up high for like another interesting angle. And that's what we wanted for this shot. We wanted to go extreme, extreme, extreme. So not only did we put the model on top of the vault door, which is like, okay, why would you do that? But we also put me on top of a ladder. So she was on the vault door, but I was even higher shooting with my head almost at the ceiling, straight down with a wide angle lens, capturing the ceiling almost all the way to the floor. And that like crazy angle creates something that like we've totally never seen before. So it's really fun to be able to like re push those elements. And uh, I think fashion is the perfect genre to do it. the shot with Eva on the top of the vault door. It's like a total free-for-all in a one-on-one. -on -one. So it's basically her and me trying different things out and I'm taking the camera off the tripod and we're just shooting here. So we're practicing things like um, having her open up the vault door and kind of like walk on through. The framing this is a really interesting thing where we can get this like huge amount of like red circle and have her kind of walking through that. Let's point that a little higher so it's catching her, catching her head as she walks in. And uh, so we're changing up our lighting for each one of these shots. Uh, when she's walking to the vault door, she's being blasted with a CTO gel right into her face and kind of like looking, having that stunned look. We're having her lay down on the ground and changing our lighting again. So she's got this like wonderful shadows kind of like falling past her body. And each one of these shots, you know, took an extra maybe five minutes to create after we got our initial lighting and everything like that set up. So having the freedom to like get these extra couple of shots really added to the amount of uh, volume that we were able to produce from the photo shoot as well as a lot of fun because we were able to like really freestyle it after we got the shot we knew we wanted to get. Love it, love it,